Playsaurus makes one of the few relatively popular clicker games, Clicker Heroes, and I say relatively because there's about a million clicker games now, so no matter how many success stories there are, comparatively there's only ever going to be a fraction. In my opinion, clicker games began and ended with Cookie Clicker, to date still untoppable, but Clicker Hero certainly has a fan base, though personally it's one of the most glaring examples of compulsion based gameplay, with not very much to say for itself, and some fuck awful microtransactions if I'm being quite honest. However, while ordinarily the microtransactions of a game being its downfall might be something I giggle at, the reason Clicker Heroes is currently in a spot of bother regarding its own microtransactions is the reason why I would never celebrate this particular situation because fuck patent trolls. And this is the part where I want to say that patent trolls are more disgusting than any in-game microtransaction you could imagine, but I don't want to challenge the game industry so that they will take me up on it. Anyway, since this story came out I've seen some people say good, that'll teach them for putting microtransactions in their games, but even aside from the leniency I normally give free-to-play games regarding microtransactions, even if this was a straight-up fee-to-pay game instead of a free-to-play game, I would still be somewhat inclined to take the game's side because companies that patent things and then just sit on said patents and make their money by suing other people for implementing vaguely similar ideas are lower than the dirtiest, grimiest, fizziest pond scum out there. I don't even know why the pond scum's fizzing, but that's not a good sign. The company in question is GTX Corp. As near as can be told, GTX Corp is a classic patent troll in that it doesn't seem to produce fucking anything outside of lawsuits and legal threats. There's a Wikipedia page for a GTX Corp, but that doesn't seem to be the correct one, with this particular GTX Corp, one of several, having very little in the way of an online footprint. Playsaurus itself believes that it might be the company responsible for GTX.com, a website that looks ripped straight out of the fucking 90s. Anyway, GTX Corp is threatening to sue Playsaurus for having electronic tokens in its game. Not even Playsaurus is quite clear on what it means by that, they've only guessed that it references the rubies, the premium currency in Clicker Heroes, but what Playsaurus does know is that GTX Corp very kindly offered to let them get away with only paying 35 grand for a license fee so that the quote unquote costly litigation wouldn't take place. Playsaurus has quite bluntly called this a shakedown and yeah. Yeah, it pretty much looks like a fucking shakedown. Generally, if you think that your patent has actually been infringed upon, you don't offer the infringer the chance to pay a comparatively tiny amount of money compared to what you believe you should be getting. Also, considering Clicker Heroes doesn't do anything with its tokens that you can't see in a fucking incomprehensible avalanche of games by now, you'd think that we'd have heard of GTX Corp before, but it seems to be targeting specifically smaller studios in the hopes of bullying them into handing over cash. According to Playsaurus, the patent itself, known as the 838 patent, has been used by several companies over the years and was primarily used about a decade ago to bilk settlement money out of larger companies. But their recent trick is to go after smaller ones who can't fight back one's more likely to be scared by a lawsuit they can't afford to fight and will buy into the threat at 35k a pop. With only two years left on the 838 patent, Playsaurus believes that this is a last gasp on the part of GTX Corp, their final chance to rake a few extra doubloons out of the thing. GTX is currently trying to sue Neki for the same thing and are also embroiled in litigation against Soccer Manager Limited. This is ticking all the boxes for a classic patent shakedown, I don't know if uh, any of you remember Tim Langdell, someone whose life's work was trademarking the word EDGE used in video games and then spending a four year period shitting spurious lawsuits out of his fucking ass. I have an especially fierce contempt for patent trolls, these fucking grasping little shitbags, who somehow do a pretty capable job of making even companies like Activision Blizzard look straightforward and honest. Whatever you think of free to play games, microtransactions or video game companies in general, whatever you might think of Clicker Heroes as a game, though ironically enough Clicker Heroes 2 is going to be a straightforward premium game without the microtransaction bollocks, this is not behaviour that should ever be fucking encouraged. To spend your days just looking for other companies doing similar ideas to an idea you possibly never even had, you just acquired from someone else, ideas you've done fucking nothing with, is beyond pathetic. 
pathetic and despicable and shameless. And it's thoroughly absurd that we live in a world where that is actually viable as a job, as a sustainable bloody existence, if only for a bit, up until you get too greedy and abusive, which seems to be the problem with these fucking little wankers. I say the problem, I mean the problem is that they exist in the bloody first place. But they certainly do seem to have a really good habit of shooting themselves in the foot because they just can't stop themselves. And I really hope they've bitten off more than they can chew with Playsaurus here, a company that might actually have the reach and finances to get them to back off. Because as I say, regardless of how you view microtransactions in general or Clicker Heroes' implementation of them, when it comes to the game industry, patent trolls are an especially loathsome breed that deserve a metaphorical kicking in the throat. In any case, Playsaurus itself is currently standing firm, believing it would be unethical to support and encourage this sort of behaviour, and they're looking for any other potential victims of this company, this GTX Corp, so they can put their heads together and help each other fight the fuckers back and I honestly think that's a good thing. I would rather have fewer patent trolls in the world than fewer games with microtransactions in them, which would do a pretty good job of telling you how utterly vile I think patent trolls are. They should honestly get in the bloody sea, and I fully hope Playsaurus fucks them up. Case closed. I mean, I'm not really a judge, so, so I can't actually decide if a case is closed or not. I just, I just don't have that sort of power.